<clears throat> How to pedal correctly when playing the piano. One of the very first pedaling exercises that we do is using a single note in one hand with the pedal and as uh, one foot on the pedal. This will always be the damper pedal, which is the pedal to the right, the furthest right hand pedal, the one that holds all the sounds for you. Now, there is a trick to connecting notes with the pedal. If I press my note and the pedal down at the same time, and release at the same time, I am not going to get any sustained sound. The damper pedal is also called the sustain pedal. We want it to sustain our sound. So, if we simply hold down the pedal the whole way through, you can hear all the sounds are still holding it has created quite a fight amongst all the sounds, especially because we played all seconds. And they fight each other. They are too close. So we don't want to smudge what we are playing when we use the pedal. We want a nice clear sound. It's as if I took my foot off the pedal and I simply played legato. That's the sound you want, but using the pedal. So now, let's try that again. I'm going to play the same scale, but I'm only going to use one finger. Finger three and the pedal. Let's see if it sounds legato. Was it legato? Yes, it was. My pedal should not make any sound, but mine does need some, some lubrication. The tuner has not been able to come because we are in lockdown, of course. So, um, but there should be no smudging of the sounds. There should also be no chopping up of the sounds like this. See, that is incorrect pedaling. Now, what is the trick to getting the pedaling legato? Do you notice that as I press down on the note, that is when my foot is up. And when I release the note, that is when my foot is already down. So your hand and your foot are going to have to work opposite to each other. So, we therefore can say words to help our foot put the pedal down in the right place. So, your words are going to tell your foot up, down. That is for the foot. And you say up as you press the key. So, up, down, move, hand. Down, move, hand. Up, 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 down, move, hand. So, my finger cannot release the key until the pedal is holding the note. That's why you hold for the whole up, down. You can only lift off and move once that pedal is down. Now, that's the first part of the exercise. Once you have mastered that technique, then we start making the pedal go up and down a little faster. 
So we will still play the same scale at the same speed, but the pedal is going to go down faster, like this. Up, down, two, three, four. 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 I still had a legato scale, but my foot was far quicker on coming down. That's what you need when you are playing a piece of music. So, say for instance, I wanted to play... Let me just pull something out. I didn't plan on playing something. Let's see if there's something here we can play. Hmm. Right. Here we've got something from The Greatest Showman. Now, watch what my pedal does in relation to my hands. every note but I was clearing it every time the chord changed now if we are playing for instance do you see how when the chord is still the same we can keep the pedal down as would we also have to listen if the sounds are getting too overwhelming, then we have to change the pedal. But the pedal is always changed while there are notes down. So, practice those techniques carefully. Those exercises with the scale, one finger. And then you can start incorporating it into your music. Look forward to it.